Hello, how's it going? Bryant here with another video, and this time we're going to talk about not not the Apple credit card, although I do like the fact that it's metal, you know, they made it a pain in the rear to pay with it in their own store, but that's a story for a different time. So this is my sample card, and then onwards to my wallets baggie. Okay, so first things first, we're going to start with my favorite, a Rick and Morty long wallet. So this wallet I use... I bought it, I think, at a Spencer's for like 20 bucks. I really love it because I can fit everything into it. Back pocket, you name it. Has a bunch of, oh, I can use this uh, card too. And anyway, um, so I love it because it has a lot of different compartments. And then it's one, two, three, four. So it's like, it all fits very well, pretty secure. Well, unless it's like metal. But anyway, um, I really love it because it's like, got a compartment for cash like a cash compartment receipts coins and in here i like to put a tylenol cold and headache day you know we used to work in the restaurant get a headache you have a tylenol thing in a swiss army knife so anyway you can put random tchotchkes in here and then you zip it up it's really big so i recommend using it in the winter time because you put it in the back pocket, so I'm going to out of the back pocket and, you know, and it's gone, right? So I, I like it because it's simple, it's cheap, fits a lot if you're, like, looking to carry a lot. And the zipper, having the zipper really makes me feel like it's secure, nothing will ever fall out of it. And um, I think it holds, like, 16 credit cards on their individual slots. You know, cash, receipts, simple... Uh, wallets and i love rick and morty again love 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 rick and morty so that's why i have a rick and morty wallet so onwards to the next wallet uh full metal alchemist again i used this wallet when i was in overseas in china and i just loved that it had many different pockets and i love that it also has a pocket here for uh coins and stuff or like a whatever you want and then just you know don't forget october 3rd uh third, 11th um if you are a fan of the series you know what i'm talking about anyway full metal alchemist love edward alphonse kitty cat and then uh different pockets it fits just and i love the fact that it's like got that those two little buttons but again i think it's not falling off right yeah so love it it's like a mid-range carry all these wallets you know they're really nice got a bunch of pockets can really put stuff in here and then um yeah simple wallet used it when i was overseas because it's a fun wallet to use all right so another wallet also rick and morty my bifold so i love this one why because you have like the two pockets here you know maybe put some secret code numbers or whatever c137 rick would definitely do so can put an ID card here, and then this you can easily slot out. And then it's got a standard wallet, you know, cash, different slots. And again, I love everyday simple wallets, bifold, thin. And I love wallets that express like my personality and what I like because it's just pleasant to have that uh, variety. So, uh, shout out to another wallet I use, which I clipped to the back of my bag, which is the money clip um this is is what i call my deceptively simple wallet like staples you know comes in a pack and i like to just put it like boop and then clamp clamp bunch of wallets and stuff and then there you go i have a simple wallet i don't i, I don't care what happens to it or i can put it like this clamp this simple you know it's from staples it's made to hold paper but i feel like it also works as a great wallet and i used it for so often that the paint started falling off and stuff and i think it builds character it's metal has some nice history to it so i keep it in case i want to just be like eh. and then here i have a wallet that i really like uh this is my cascade mechanical wallet so it has a nice little money clip kind of so you just scoot this up and you can put cash or cards or whatever like this it's like stable ish uh, but I feel like when you put it in the pocket, you know, just be careful. Just open it up, 
slides out. And I love this wallet because it's a nice mechanical wallet. Pretty sure you put, I think, like five cards or whatever. Like this, it won't fall off too often, I don't think. And then open it up and then push the button and then it's like, it's super fun to play with. And then if you put a bunch, it like lines up because I have like little slots and it's just like a nice mechanical, cool, gadgety type of wallet when I want to be like playful. Although I don't use it uh, too often because it's metal and metal can be somewhat bulky. This is another wallet. Well, simple. I got. I think my brother got this in like some subscription box, and I was like, oh, I like it because you know, fan wallets and yeah, simple wallet from a subscription box, thin, easy, nothing, nothing crazy, just simple uh, type of wallet. I like to put it in my front pocket or whatever when I want to be minimalist and travel light. I definitely use something like this, you know, ID and cards. So that's my minimalist wallet. Let's see, let's go down the list. Let's take out my other wallets. Here is my Japanese Aizawa wallet. I really like this. So it's made in Japan. I think it's Waza, New York, something like that. And then it has a clip here, which I would want to be always gentle with because you open it and then you put cash or whatever in here right and then clip i don't want to it's like it's aggressive and rough and comes down but it's very stable i don't want it to hit like the seams or whatever and then you can put your cards here so with all my wallets i never want to put more than one card for slot and the reason why is i don't want the slots to stretch out because once they stretch out you can't tighten them again so it's like over so basically love the card you know put some documents here another slot another slot another slot because like you want it to be secure, so like right now, you know, nothing's falling out. But once you start stuffing even two cards in it, it's over, you know, because over time they'll conform to the new thing. And then next thing you know, walking down the street, wrong way, taking something out, and whoosh, all your cards fall out. So uh, word of advice, never put one card per slot on your wallet because it can always um, be always like detrimental so let me put all my other wallets out that i'll go through and then i'll put them back this way i should have thought this yeah whatever so put this here put this here put this back here neat and organized so let me put this out of frame doing this live so you know it's improv um this i like it's a paper wallet so so it's something different so paper wallet what you do is you put the coin in, like a quarter or whatever. You put it, it's made out of Tyvek, which is like a waterproof type of paper. Put the coin in here and then drops here. And because there's a seam here, you fold it, nothing falls out because there's a sewing here. And then when you fold it, all the pockets and coins go here. And then you, when you fold it over, it's like almost like a lock, it doesn't fall out. So I like this for like coins, like quarters, pennies, dimes, nickels, whatever. Just coin pouch, basically. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, business card holder that I really like as a wallet. It's a little bit of scratches and stuff. When I'm in the mood for something simple, I like I like simple. Um, you know, business card holder can put business cards, credit card wallet, slide like this, and then basically goes out. Usual thing, and then out here, and then yeah, just light. I think it's also from like a Sprezza box or something for my brother. Um, another one of my favorite wallets is a paper wallet. I think it's called paper wallet, my wallet. And it's got a nice little design when I want like artistic -y. Um I used it, it's quite durable for paper. It's not really paper, it's like paper laced with cotton, laced with plastic or something of some sort. And the thing with these, it's paper wallet. You can't really put cards here because then it'll fall off. There's no grip, right? So what I do is I put them in here in these slots. And then once I put in these slots, it's not really going anywhere. Close it, clamp, and then the car's not going anywhere. It can like, cook, 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 cook. And then cash here because, you know, friction or whatever, some grip. Uh, when I want to be playful, travel light, something simple that I enjoy, I definitely like um, the paper wallet. Super light, super thin, super minimalist. And uh, yeah, another one I like is this wallet from M Clip. So this one I could 
M clip get engraved. It's like a carbon fiber. Um, you can, you know, they allow it to be engraved, and it's like the it, this is on like a clothespin that you can go in and out of, and then there's a spring bar, and I love the grips here, and then you can just basically clamp them, and then close the pins very secure and put in the pocket or whatever. Grip's pretty good. I feel like the grip's pretty good because you can like if you want to go like this, it's like it won't fall off. You know, obviously don't be aggressive with it, but typically won't fall off and it'll be able to hold like this. So it keeps it pretty secure. Traditional metal money clip. I like the nice clicking sound you can make out of it. And, um, you know, cash cards, rugged, but a little thick, but rugged, mechanical, like it. Uh, definitely one that I, I spent some time using back in college. Um... Another business card holder, you know, typical business card. This one's lined and very durable, very sturdy, very metal. Uh, I'm gonna hide my f phone number, but yeah, Mr. Brian Toe. Shout out to Uncharted, Nathan Drake, Sick Parvis, Magna, Greatness from Small Beginnings. Um, shout out to Naughty Dog, Sony, and the Uncharted series. Um, and lined, and then yeah, that's the standard one. Here I have another wallet, just simple bifold. Nothing, you know, simple, you know, I think this is like something you get in a flea market for like five, 10 bucks. You know, pay cash, haggle, genuine leather, I think. Well, that's simple, a lot of pockets, uh, folds, eh, pretty nice, like a good starter wallet. It has like a nice foam cushion. I feel like that's like the plastic foam or whatever, and it's definitely weird. So I definitely like it, put it, Put your cards in, still tight, you know, carry in. That's it. I feel like you can't put money the long way because the dollar bill is like way too long. I think the dollar bill goes to here. I'm about to fold it a few times and then go. But um, yeah, typical wallets. This one's quite lovely. It's awesome. It's from Hugo Boss. Got this as a gift. Uh, very tight though. Like these are, are tight pockets. They have a lot of slots, but very tight fit and the varnish falls off very easily like peels off but i kept the parts so i'm going to re-varnish this at some point but i love the shiny metalness i love the nature of it i think i kept the varnish pieces in here or somewhere in the pockets maybe did i because i wanted to keep yes i did so like as you can see there was like a varnish along the lines and then i think like at some point i got to reapply varnish or glue it back or something but it's a sturdy wallet, just the varnish falls off very easily, but leather wallet, quality piece, love it. Genuine leather, classy, holds one, two cards, you know, three. Tight fit, I forgot where it's made, but it's nice. Uh, this one's from Six Flags, so I can open this up. Uh, nice little Six Flags wallet when I was a kid. Love it, uh, beep beep type of thing, coin holder, orange. Um, and then put some coins or some cash there and it's just so durable kept throughout the years I think I signed it when I was a kid um, yeah I love this Six Flags wallet I feel like although a lot of times when I see these things and I see like oh it got dirty and it dirtied up and blackens uh, with this one because it's so old and it has such huge sentimental value I don't think I can ever uh, let it go because it's I love Six Flags and it's just such a wonderful place to have the privilege of having gone to. And um, yeah, simple tchotchke type of thing. Uh, this one, it's just a typical Japanese card holder. It beat it up a bit, used it a lot. But the thing is that it it's mechanical. I think it's like 15 bucks and it actually, let me show you something. It opens up and opens out. So it's like nice mechanical, um, simple card holder. If I'm holding more things, business cards and credit cards, instead of having to carry multiple things, because I like, in the name of simplicity, I'll use something like this. Love it. So, this is uh, in my collection. This is from this one's from Moo, and originally it's to hold their business cards. So, it's I think it's like. 12 bucks or 15 I, 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 don't, I, I don't remember so basically put the card in you can put your card in here and you can basically fan it out 
So it's like a nice way to fan out your cards. If you have three cards, oh, take it out, you know, whatever, separate. Oh, take it out, whatever, separate. Oh, so basically it's for their business cards, but I ended up using it for my credit cards and I, I can close it, you know, doesn't go anywhere, stable, unique, because I'm a fan of unique things that do something different. And even if it looks plain or monocolored, I, I still love it. But love, love this one, uh, used it a bit. This one, I was able to custom order from Etsy. I think they made it in Oklahoma. Guy made it, Columbus, I don't remember. But there's the etching BT that he helped do. Uh, he used Tiger Thread. And then this one, it's a full, I think it's full green leather at the time. So the thing about this one is that because of the way that it's vegetable tan and dyed, if you leave a card or paper in here, the the dye is going to leak into your card and make your card brown or your cash brown or stuff brown. So if you want to like use something that you're going to be rough and you don't care about, you know, how your credit cards end up in color or IDs end up in color, because this is a little rough and coarse. If you like, I used to have a driver's license and th this one seat the brown color into my driver's license and then it might like screw with the edges like, like a 20 year old, like 15, 10 year ID, something like that. But if I'm just using like an Apple card and I just want to use something simple, durable, like I feel like I can beat it up and it's so, so uh, durable. Yeah. So from, it's from Etsy. I ordered it from a shop on Etsy, uh, custom leather, cause I love something simple. So. With something like this, I want the cards to face inwards and not out. The reason why is I don't want it to go anywhere, like ever. Because I get get worried or concerned that it might fall out. You know, if the slots are up here and it's going to slip out, then there's no point. So here, makes like a seal. It's a simple two-card holder. I stuff it a lot. I use it. It's beat up, old, but I feel like it'll last forever. So that's one of them and i'm gonna probably put it aside because i'm gonna use it for a long time this one it's from a company it says it's australia but i think it was made in in china or something so simple australia wallet i guess and then um yeah i think it says australia some sort i don't know so this one uh simple it's like plasticky whatever uh coin pouch it's supposed to be general leather but thin or whatever and then it's got a nice fold here and here you have a nice little zipper wallet i guess put all your money or things that you don't want to fall apart hundreds or whatever you want there and then id uh holder the thing about, about the id holders you've noticed there is that the ink from the bottom like starts eating into the plastic and this is from the original wallet and then it looks like that but over time i guess that's what happens but it's just a symptom of the plastic or like the dye eating into it so definitely something for if you use a wallet for like 10 15 years with this kind of plastic from like a flea market or whatever just know that that kind of stuff will happen and if it's something that you're concerned with just don't get the plastic thingy um yeah australia but I'm not sure what was made but probably china but I'm not sure so anyway pocket pockets simple um i haven't used this but um but i might give this away uh, probably um yeah it says australia on it i guess might serve a purpose at some point don't know yet um this one it's it's from a company called vactini and i really like them because they made these jewelry things where um you spray it on a bracelet and the cologne lasts a while so you were able to i was able to get it custom made with my name on it, it has a nice little strap so again anything with a strap or anything like this I get very worried on on overstretching it, so I never put more than one card at the absolute bare minimum, because I don't want it to be so loose that it, like this is one card, it's stable, it doesn't come out. But I can imagine if I start putting like three, four cards, it's going to stretch to a point of no return, and things will start falling out and won't have stability anymore. So I really like it because it's got like a nice cash pocket or card pocket or metro card pocket. Like I can put a metro card here and I'll, I'll, I won't be afraid. It's got a nice raised edge to it to catch it and I won't be afraid of it. Um, so it's got a nice little button like this. You put the cards in and it raises them out. So basically it's because it's got this little lock here, things don't come out, you know, obviously too much and, you know, but typically it won't come out. You push the button and then it pushes all the cards out 
and then it's like this you can take them out but when you put them in because it has this little catch it basically this catch once it's in goes over the card and can't really take them out you know too much pretty stable i love the design it's like a very well i think the top is like carbon fiber but it's very like stealth bomber-esque modern take on a card holder and i really like it i would definitely use it if i was like wearing a suit or something uh something here another one this is my uh, louis vuitton i like simple so i, I went for a mon monogram so basically you were able louis vuitton lets you custom make them uh so basically take them out here and i think it's i don't want it to catch on the thread or whatever so this is a bjt uh for my initials and i was able to customize this orange i think it took like a month or two or i, I don't remember how many months like orange over uh white and as they manufactured it um you know like it was by hand so you do see some cracking on it louis vuitton typically makes it super super perfect you know nice varnishing but it's still a human touch so you might still have like that prone error there or this one i think there was something about this one i i, I forgot okay so when they printed this one this was a manufacturing error where there's like a line over it i believe where it cut off in the printing process and i i'm not sure but i think it's a one-off one, -off one. I, I don't think they normally make that kind of mistake but with mine and with louis vuitton um definitely love the eh, typical lv logo and i wanted to get like the the cheapest simplest mon monogram personalized one i could get I, do, I definitely it's like super tight i definitely don't want to put more than one card on it at some point i might use it i, I probably might i might not i don't know yet so it's very tight fit pocket i don't want to stretch it out i keep it in as great as con uh, condition as possible and that's basically yeah just to say oh i have a louis wallet, wallet or whatever um finally i'll go to my last one which i actually purchased back in hong kong a long time ago it's not a louis but it's a this is our my fendi monster wallet i barely used this i don't think i ever really used this um yeah it's got a nice little emoji look to it i think it, the, the eyes are like a blue leather leather i think it's like brushed finish it's my most expressive definitely heavy and thick i would definitely never put it in my back pocket i would definitely use it with a jacket or like a front pocket fendi roma nice little uh black varnishing on the side so opening it up it's got a nice little tan green color to it one two three four uh, pockets of some sort inner pockets and then um in here it's just a one fold and then two fold i wonder how you basically verify if it's real or not it's got this nice little fendi tag i think that's like a security tag or something in there i don't remember but it says like cut but i'm not going to cut it because i want to keep it original and then uh how do you check oh yes so in here there's a serial number here uh, under the pocket that you can see like if it's real or not i think on the inner pocket because like while it's like this they're, they're going to have some sort of way to identify because there's a lot of knockoffs and counterfeit so definitely used it uh, don't want to use it too often like you can see like when you use it you can see like, it's going to indent a bit from like showing that the credit cards are there um and then you know nice tight fit i would never put more than one card per it and definitely something that i i don't use often because it's such a nice piece it's more like a piece of art to me like a nice modern emoji art and um yeah that concludes my video on uh, my wallet collection thank you so much for listening and uh hopefully we'll do another collection video at some point have a wonderful day